Oasis TV, bringing you a world of programming. And Tantra teaches that each of us, you, have an inner feminine as a man. And I, as a woman, have an inner masculine. I'm also man. I have male hormones. I can understand male responses. They exist in my body. Yeah? So the same, you have female hormones in your body. You can understand female responses. The famous psychologist Carl Jung talked about anima and animus. You know, that aspect of our psyche that is the feminine in you, the masculine in me, that gets things moving forward, that gives you patience, understanding, the feminine, that gives me drive and leadership capacities, the masculine. So when those two are split within any given human being, when a man doesn't know his feminine, he starts to want to control the outer feminine because he's afraid of her, you see? And then he denies her sacred dimension meaning the divine aspect that it is, because he doesn't want to honor her. He doesn't want to respect her. She's a threat, you see. So he wants to dominate and control her. And this is what's happening in so many cultures. My radical opinion as a tantra, a tantrika, and a teacher of human sexuality is this, that originally, because men are not wired to experience multiple orgasms, Men are not multi-orgasmic beings. So actually, when they make love to a woman, they're usually, if they're not aware or trained, rather soon finished, you know, maybe 10, 15 minutes. Now, this is just about the time that it takes for her to get going, you know. So they land before she has time to take off. And this, for them, is an extremely and profoundly scary thing because they have spent their power at the moment that she's rising into hers. So she's a tremendous threat to them. And her need, she needs to have more. And she asks for more. And he can't deliver because he's spent. Okay? Now, if you take that as a metaphor and you carry it into a more global political consideration, you will see that, women, that men whose feminine is not awake want to control that power. And it's an extremely important power because it's the power that gives life. They couldn't have a son to carry on their lineage if they didn't have that woman at their mercy, you know, to control her and to make sure that this is their son, you know, and she's not going to go with anybody else, have multiple orgasms with anybody else, especially if she can't have any with him. Uh -huh.